No! So, I just spent like 30 minutes painting this. Okay, that's an over-exaggeration. Probably like 15, maybe 10 minutes, I don't know, painting this. You know what, I can't really tell. That's not accurate at all. Let me start over. I just spent some amount of time painting this, thinking I was recording, and it turns out I look over at the screen, there's no red dot, the red dot is on now. Yeah, welcome. This is Breathing Space Studios. <laughs> and we're supposed to be painting together, you know, as like a group of one or two people, however many people watch this first video. And I apologize for the weird angle. My camera is actually inside of a small box that I cut the top out off of with this little knife thing that I got from the dollar store the other day. I've been using this for everything. It's pretty cool, pretty nice. I use it for collages. So I cut the hole out of the top of the box and I stuck the lens through and then stuck the box on top of my bed and I'm sitting on the floor painting this, which this is watercolor paper and then this is my desk. Right now, there is toilet paper right here, you're right. Um, I don't have a rag to use or paper towels. I'll try to get a rag in the future so I don't have to throw stuff away. This is what I did earlier. Um, yeah, again, sorry for the angle. I hope you can kind of see what's going on. Maybe I'll take a picture of it and then just insert it into the video. Here is actually coffee. And I've been painting with coffee a lot lately because I, I'm, I'm pretty new to painting and so it's difficult for me to, to start sometimes because it's really overwhelming. You know, you see these things online where they just look so great and so fantastic and just you wish you could do it and you try and then you fail and you know why you fail because you kind of know the concepts you kind of know you know this color works with that color this and that and this and that but then you try to execute it and it just doesn't work so the point of this is to just paint with me just do it if you're still watching this and you're not painting or drawing I don't really understand why because the angle of this is so terrible that you should just start drawing. You, sh you really you should do it right now. You really should. Like, you really should just pause this video or don't pause it. Either way, you should just get up and go get a piece of paper or get some toilet paper, you know, that would work with a marker or an orange peel with a marker. I don't care. Just draw on something. Just do it. Maybe I'll repeat that a lot of times throughout this because if you watch this whole video without drawing one thing, at least a stick figure, I will be thoroughly disappointed in you without actually knowing what you did. You know what I mean? So you're gonna have to live with that for the rest of your life, you know? It's pretty serious. So, anyway. It's a little difficult for me to paint and talk at the same time because first of all, I just started doodling. Any type of doodle ever in my whole life. Ever, you know. Even though for a lot of people doodling doesn't take very much mental energy, for me it does. It really, really does. Because I'm, I'm always looking for patterns and looking Okay, can I tie this into that? Can I mix this into that? Mm. What is what is going to happen if I mix these two colors? And I'm using toilet paper to paint with. And it's not like anybody really cares. Maybe five people will see this. Maybe more. Maybe this will become a national treasure someday. Maybe it won't. It's not going to. There's no way. I bet in the future, the Library of Congress is going to see this and they're going to be like, Huh. She said that this would never become a national treasure, so we're going to make it a national treasure. But anyway, painting. This is why doodling is important. Because if you're like me and you get really overwhelmed because there are so many things going into one thing. Then just do the thing without thinking about it. 
as much. Put yourself in a situation where you can't think about it. You just have to do it. You know? Okay, so movie recording stopped automatically, I saw when I looked up at the screen. And I'm not sure how much I just lost, but I don't think it was that huge of a loss. I think that we'll still be fine. I'm not going to have an asthma attack or anything. <laughs> Although if I did, I have an inhaler, so you know it's cool. Is it okay to talk about things that aren't related to painting at all? I don't know if people would rather hear painting related stuff only or just like random stuff because I'm kind of thinking about random stuff. But I'm also kind of thinking about painting. I could go either way. Really. I could go either way. If I upload a second video, that is, and then a third one, and then a fourth one, and then. That'll be it. That's it. That's all I ever want to do with my life. Five... Shoot, I forgot what my list is. But we're going to say five YouTube videos. It's my life goal. And if I reach that, I'm going to be really happy. Because then I'll have five really cool doodle paintings. Or maybe one will turn out pretty cool. And the other ones will be okay. That's fine. I'm gonna paint anyway. Man, I feel like I said a lot of stupid stuff. What? People do say stupid things. People do make a lot of mistakes. And that's okay. We're all humans. We're okay with making mistakes and being silly. Is when we make so much more progress. So, 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 so much more. Easier said than done. I apologize for the music. I hope that's not too distracting. I needed copyright free music. I don't like it that much. I really don't. It seems like the, the more I paint, the more I get along, the more that I'm kind of just sticking to lo-fi music. It's just more simple. It doesn't have vocal or at least doesn't have very many vocals most of the time and so I don't get as distracted which just getting distracted is probably my number one number one or number two killer of painting not of myself of myself it'd probably be asthma asthma I don't know if you heard that the first time because my lungs are weak they're not that weak unless I run I'm not running I'm sitting I'm painting so maybe that's an excuse I want to hear some good jokes but I don't know any I can't tell any good jokes not off the top of my head maybe if I had someone to talk to but I don't I have a camera in a box at a weird angle like at my hand look at these knuckles I think it's a nice wrist look at the flick of the wrist I don't know if you can tell what I'm painting right now. I don't know if I can tell what I'm painting right now, actually. That's a good point. I'm gonna add a little something here. Yeah. Maybe I should do Bob Ross impersonations. You don't know what I look like. You know what my wrist looks like. You know what my knuckles look like. Maybe you do. I, s I think I'm saying maybe a lot. Probably because I question everything. Like... Why are pigs pink? I don't know. Somebody knows. Probably more than one person knows that. I'm not one of them. Man, I shouldn't have added this little blob. I thought it was going to be a blob. I thought it would be something else. What? I don't know. Not a blob. Sometimes blobs are nice. Not this one. That one movie with Robin Williams. Is it called Blob? I don't know. I don't think it is, but there's like that green slime thing. I like that thing. If this looked like that, I'd be okay with that. Wow, that's the worst part. But 
artist subjective, right? Maybe someone else will see it and think, that's the best part of any painting I've ever seen in my entire life. And they'll think it just like that. They won't say it out loud, but they'll think it in their head in the exact voice that I just did. How do I know that? Because I'm an artist. See, that's another benefit to doodling. You get not only telepathy, but something else. Oh my god, one of my roommates is coming downstairs. Here is my beautiful, gorgeous, amazing drawing with paint, aka painting. So, this is uh, a rose. How? Because it's red and it has leaves. This is either a leaf or a flower. This is a group of flowers that was blobs at one point, were blobs. This is one of those things that you get in a bouquet. They're dried up with the seed things inside. I don't know what they're called. But it looks kind of neat, I guess. Would I hang it on my wall? No. Probably not. But am I happy with it? Yeah. For talking and painting, it's pretty good. I'm interested in that picture. I've never painted a picture like that before. That's actually completely new style to me. It's very thick. And different. I'll, I'll probably try doing that again. This is how I usually paint. It's very thin and light. And more planning, more of an idea of what's going on. That one over there, not so much. But anyway, I hope that you did a painting. Oh, there's my toe and my foot. Wow, I wonder if that was in the video the whole time. I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you didn't, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, that's not good.